Copy. Yeah. Cool. Gonna have several. <laughs> Short title. This belong in the constitutional amendment. No, this wasn't written during Worldcon at all. We've got multiple things happening here. It's written in pigeon. Okay. You take your seats, please. Luckily, I don't think a short title is going to get in the Meeting will come to order. It should be constitutional men, but long to us. Good morning. Uh, this is the site selection business meeting where site selection business is the main order of the day. I would, however, like first to call up our one remaining uh, committee to give their report, the Worldcon Runner's Guide Editorial Committee, because I believe Mike is here and uh, has to depart fairly shortly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mike Wilmoth. I'm the uh, uh, head of the committee for the Worldcon Runner's Guide. Uh, I've already submitted a report that you may have seen, but okay. um, the, uh, the incremental progress that we've made continues to be made. We have a online URL from wisfus.org that you can now go to see what we've uploaded. And uh, I've submitted that to the business meeting, but I'll, I'll read that off to you for anybody who wants to take a note. And um, <clears throat> we've uploaded the backup that we created before the catastrophic crash reference last year. And the team is working on updating the individual pages. So now that Worldcon is approaching the end, we'll be getting back to doing that. All right, thank you, Mike. Do you wish to continue the committee as currently constituted for next year? Yes, please. Uh, www.wisfus.org slash committees slash worldcon hyphen runners hyphen guide. Anybody has any questions, you can contact me about that. I'm on staff here, easy to reach. Right, are there any questions here for Mike? Is there any objection to continuing the committee as currently constituted for another year? Seeing none, so ordered. Thank you. All right. As I said, this is the site selection business meeting. I would like to call up the tellers for the 2019 NASFIC election first, please. Let me get here. <laughs> I'm Warren Buff, Site Selection Administrator. I do have the results for the 2019 NASFIC Site Selection. We had 192 total ballots cast in the NASFIC Site Selection, of which 182 expressed a preference. There were seven for none of the above. One for Christmas in Boston 2020. <laughs> <laughs> One for Olive Country. One for Minneapolis in 73, one for Bristol, and 171 for Utah. As 92 were needed to elect, Utah is the winner. I'll call on the winning bidders to come up and make a presentation. Would you like a microphone run to you? Um, yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Let me bring you a mic. <laughs> She's asking slides. if we got the email slides. We didn't get slides, I don't think. Or, Unless okay. Don got some. Donald? I don't know. Warren. He's looking. <laughs> uh, 
Thank My you. My last mail was at 102. Can you hold that for a second? Yeah. Would you have gotten slides from? I don't know. Did you have some? Kate, who? Kate, who would have sent the email with the slides? I sent it to Warren. Uh, I don't have the email for him. Okay. Oops. We have PR zero. We will wing it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm Kate Hatcher. I'm the chair of WesterCon 72, 1632 Minicon, and now Utah for 2019 NASFIC. And I'm sitting down, but I will still talk to you. I want to thank everybody because we've had a committee of over 35, 40 people putting effort into this to combine this into one event. It is the 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad next year and the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Since the Golden Spike Museum is less than an hour away, we decided we're going to snag as many conventions as we can into one big party next year in Layton, Utah. Oh, thank you. Our dates are July 4th through 7th, which is the traditional WesterCon dates. And Layton is 26 miles north of Salt Lake City. And there are many accessible options we have on websites and at our table. We have WesterCon guests already, including Jim Butcher, Vincent Villafranca, Katie Krell, Kevin Stanley, Lisa Hayes, and Kuma Bear, and Eric Flint. Four, five, and Tim Modisha, a gaming GM from British Columbia. For the NASWIC guests of honor, we have Laurel K. Hamilton, who has been writing urban fantasy for 25, almost 30 years. She's considered one of the pioneers of the paranormal fiction. And we also have David Weber, who has been writing science fiction for 30 years. We decided they're both about that 30 year mark. They're both amazing in their subgenres, and we couldn't pick one or the other, so we got both. David Weber is sponsored by Charles and Teeny Fisher. We also have Susan Chang, who is a senior editor of Tortine. She is sponsored by Tortine, so we can represent the YA sector. We are keeping Vincent Villafranca and elevating him to an overall artist guest of honor. He has done so much for Wuspus and the Hugos, and all of his sculptures are brilliant. And he is sponsored by Alamo out of Texas. We also have a gentleman by the name of Dragon Drone, who does martial arts and blacksmithing. And he does props for Hollywood, including working on most Star Trek and Star Wars for the last 10 years. And since we have all of these guests, which is very a big herd of cats, we decided we need to tag team our master and mistress of ceremonies, which are Bijo and John Trimble. Woo. They're going to bring their art and their schnaz, and they said they could hurt them if I can't. We are, we are passing out PR. It's labeled 1.1 because we've been doing progress reports as WesterCon until now. And we have a fuller progress report that you can put this little piece in at our table, which we will be moving to site selection after the vote, or after, after I get out of here in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, I completely spaced, and my apologies, because when I asked Kevin Stanley to be the WesterCon Guest of Honor, he says, I've already been in NASVIC. You need a NASVIC Guest of Honor for a fan. And I said, there's only one person I could think of, and that is Linda Denneroff. <laughs> 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 
she's not only been one of the hardest working people in the business meetings that I've noticed for the last five years, but she is an amazing woman and she is very, very kind to everybody she meets and very straightforward in what she does. And we want to celebrate the business meeting as a whole at our NASFIC. We have a Westercon business meeting and hopefully we'll have a NASFIC site selection as well as Westercon, so we need the very best. Um, we will have information at the site selection tables. The conversion rates are in the progress report. If you have any questions, my whole team has been briefed and we will help you convert and hopefully you will come celebrate all these exciting things in Utah with us next year. Thank you, Kate. Are there any questions here for Kate? Seeing none, thank you. And we will move on to the Worldcon site selection. Yes. Kevin Stanley. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not commenting on that. Although I am very, uh, I'm delighted to be able to uh, have the tag team fan guests of honor up there, getting, keeping the old team together. But, Mr. Chairman, uh, I uh, ask unanimous consent to thank the tellers for their work and instruct them to destroy the ballots. Seeing none, so granted. Warren. <laughs> And of course, we had a Worldcon site selection to administer as well. I do have the results from that. We had a total of 726 ballots cast. There were 33 no preference, leaving 693 expressing a preference. Eight of these were for none of the above. Uh, we had single votes come in for Aotearoa in 2020, Bimenzana Wakanda, El Fabuloso Bungalow, Glugs Chalet, Grantville, West Virginia, <laughs> John Sapiens' Yard, <laughs> Marsopolis, Minneapolis in 74, <laughs> Slab City, and Tonopah, Nevada. We had two votes for Olive Country, two for Minneapolis in 73, three for Zerps, three for Peggy Ray's House, 22 for Christmas in Boston 2020, and 643 for New Zealand. <laughs> As we needed 347 for a majority, New Zealand has won the World Cup. Would someone from New Zealand care to make a presentation, please? Certainly. Someone's. Yep. <laughs> um, we'll just we're just going to set up our our video presentation and so on. Um, you may have all heard the story in 2010 when somebody auctioned me off and said, "Hey, Norman, run, we want you to run a Worldcon in 2020." Um, which is, and so. That happened, um, <laughs> and that's been a direct. This has all been a direct result of that. But some of you may not be aware that in 2004, I was the Duff delegate at NorEastCon 4 in Boston, and there, at the end of the convention, in an emotionally heightened state and vulnerable, let me just say, <laughs> I, I expressed the um, I expressed the idea that I would love to have a Worldcon in New Zealand. And there were four people sitting around that table that promptly gave me $20. <laughs> I did not know this was a, um, th this was a thing. <laughs> However, I actually put those $20 in this notebook with their names. And that was <coughs> Vince Doherty, James Bacon, Andrew Adams, and TR. <laughs> and they are all here. <laughs> For their sins, they are helping out. <laughs> right, um, we're going to uh, play a video, and I'm going to go and sit back there to, in order to play the video. Um, if you will indulge us one moment, thank you. I'm not sure if the sound is turned out. <laughs> it works. <laughs> It lives. Press play. 
Switch down. Switch down. Go get that while you're. Put the microphone to it. Put the microphone to it. Stop the video. No audio. Where's that coming out of? It's only coming out of the out of the, the player over here. It's not connected. Oh. Mm. Set the earphone jack for your your preferences. Sorry. Thank you. Now here we go. Unless you're local, not just level the way you want. So global control too. Yeah. Sorry. Take two. <laughs> take two. This small. There I was at a convention in 2010, and someone voluntold me to start a bid for a New Zealand Worldcon. And before I knew it, people were throwing money at me. <laughs> but New Zealand just seems like a silly idea. Nothing cool has ever happened here. <laughs> It's gloomy and ugly. And especially not Wellington, it's got dangerous creatures. Nobody cool would want to come. It might be raining and cold. Actually, that last bit might actually happen. And besides, we'll get no support from anyone. Kia ora everyone, and can I say a huge thank you to the World Science Fiction Society for confirming Wellington, New Zealand for the 78th World Con in 2020. Uh, I am New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and I wanted to extend my personal invitation for all of you to come to Wellington, New Zealand and enjoy World Con here. Well, if we could persuade anyone to come, what would they be looking forward to? And what is with this music? Oh, really? They did? Okay. Well, let's do this thing. It's been a long road, um, and I wanted to say um, tēnā koutou to everyone that's Māori for thank you to a group of people, a large group of people, uh, because this is... <laughs> 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 this is why we have somebody to speak for us. Um, all right, I probably knew this was going to happen. Anyway, sorry. Um, but. Okay, no, uh, I've, I think I've said everything we need to say. Um, we'd like to hand out a progress report zero, please. Um, 
And we would like to take questions now, if you have any, other than <laughs> stop <laughs> blubbing. Um, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Actually, one thing. I apologize. I apologize. Um, George would like to say a few words um, as our Toastmaster. Just, yeah. Thank you very much, George. We really appreciate you being willing to <laughs> do this craziness. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to, uh, to return to New Zealand again. I uh, first visited there, I believe it was in 1990, for the New Zealand uh, Regional Convention. And I was so impressed that uh, I immediately started saying that uh, New Zealand should have a world con so everybody could see it. Although my idea was to have it in Rotorua, <laughs> <laughs> which has you know more pools of boiling mud and, and geysers than Wellington last time I looked. But Wellington has lots of cool things. <clears throat> they have a, uh, a wonderful museum and um, they have just outside it, the Weta Studios, who I hope we can lure down to uh, do some stuff. And of course, Hobbiton is, is uh, you know, close to. And if you go up to Rotorua, you can see the, uh, the pools of boiling mud and the geysers. And you can take a helicopter to the volcanic island, which is good. They have a great lake of sulfuric acid uh, <laughs> where a number of people uh, commit suicide every year, really crazy people. If you want to commit Thanks suicide by jumping in a lake of sulfuric acid, uh, I did not. Uh, but it was pretty impressive. Uh, so I've returned to New Zealand uh, quite a few times since. Um, I've had a couple lessons in, in uh, doing a haka, uh, which I will have to work into the, the yugo somehow. I, I don't know quite how, but uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, it's an amazing place, and I'm really honored to uh, be part of it. And uh, two years from now, we'll create some new yugo losers <laughs> and uh, celebrate them and uh, let, let everybody in fandom see one of the really the most magical and amazing uh, parts of the world. So Paris and I have loved our trips to New Zealand and we're anxious to add one more to the, to the list. And we have a great lineup of guests and uh, I'm sure everything will run with clockwork precision. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. And if there's any questions? Oh. No questions. A gift. Oh. Whatever you like. I can move. You stay there. Hello, I'm Janie Shea. I am from I am a director of CanSmoffs and we would like to present New Zealand with ten thousand dollars. <laughs> US dollars? Yeah. <laughs> We're Canadian, remember? We'll exchange it now anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> the head of finance will take that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is our head of uh, Wispus division as well. <laughs> uh, Hello, uh, I am uh, Colette Fazard, and uh, yes, I am uh, very proud to be the uh, uh, WISFIS division head for New Zealand uh, in 2020, and, or Con Zealand, thank you. And But uh, wearing the uh, years of power from uh, Worldcon 75, it is my uh, great uh, honor as vice chair from Worldcon 75 to present 12,000 euros in pass along funds to Con Zealand. Anyone else? Got any more money? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you know how budgets are. Uh, if, uh, w we will be um, obviously out at our table selling uh, conversions and so on. Hopefully many of you have already voted and are silver fur and therefore you're automatically members and we can just say hello. Um, we have many t-shirts. Um, uh, we have a limited number of the reveal t-shirts. Please come and buy We also have other other types as well. I'm like, how long are these things good for? 
Uh, the rates are good till the end of the year. Uh, but note, the rates are in New Zealand dollars. Sorry. When will you start selling? Noon-ish? Uh, uh, about noon-ish. Um, we just, we're, we're definitely not before noon. Um, but we just, we have to make sure all our ducks are in a row and all our people are actually not going to freak out. <laughs> Any more than they have. Um, how many people can you fit into a hotel room in Wellington? <laughs> how uh, thinly sliced or cubed? <laughs> <laughs> it would depend on the... Uh, oh. She would like to know how many people can fit into a hotel room. <laughs> Most rooms have a single queen bed in them. However, rooms go up to two-bedroom apartment size, so there are a wide range of rooms available. and. Um, you can shop for what it is you're looking for. There are also a lot of service departments available. Airbnb equivalent. Yeah, yeah uh, service department basically equivalent to an Air Airbnb, if you didn't hear that. Oh, sorry. Do you have, uh, are you accepting credit cards immediately? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> credit card <laughs> transactions are in New Zealand dollars. <laughs> Question privilege, please, for everyone. Um, almost. Yes, almost none of the questions are actually making it all the way to the audio that's being recorded. If there's any more, could we get people to wait till the microphone gets to them? Yes, thank you. Um, in the absence of questions, any more questions? I have mine. Oh, oh, okay. Hey. Yes, okay. Uh, Kev Kevin Stanley, but I'm actually not. I mean, the, the, um, did you actually say at the beginning the two of you are the co chairs? I didn't hear, catch that. No, we didn't. So why don't you deal with that first? I have another question. Uh, sorry, for, for Con Zealand, we are having a co chair structure. I am the chair of Fan Experience. And I am the chair of business. This is Kelly. Mm -hmm. hey, introduce Kelly yourself. Bueller. There you go. And the other question from your Wisfus area, uh, who is your appointee to the Mark Protection Committee? Uh, For the Mark Protection Committee, we are appointing Daniel Spector. Thank you. <laughs> May God go with you. Um, okay. <laughs> Pick one. Is that the correct spelling of his name? Uh, no. Oh, uh, Oh, well. uh, if there's an, nothing else, we won't uh, take any more of your time. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, you want me to make the motion? I'm going to do it. That wouldn't balance destroyed. Oh, yeah. You, you may. <laughs> Somebody left this on the stage from New Zealand. Please don't leave your clothes behind. <laughs> this is you ready? Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent that we thank the tellers, I mean the site selection administrators for their work and instruct them to destroy the ballots. Seconded. Any objection? Seeing none, so ordered. All right. Do we have someone here from the Irish 2019 World Con Committee to uh, take, make any presentation? <laughs> no leaping. <laughs> Hello, my name is James Bacon. I'm the chair of Dublin 2019 and Irish World Con. Uh, we will be, we hope you join us at the closing ceremony because we've had a really nice time here in San Jose. And we really want to say uh, thank you, farewell, and welcome at the closing ceremony. So please do join us there. Uh, we'll be making some announcements and, uh, at that point. We don't have anything else to say at the moment. We're happy to take uh, questions. As I said, I'm the chair. I'm just joined here by Steve Cooper, as head of facilities, should there be any facilities questions. Um, but we are also available at our table. I'm personally available from 3 o'clock for an hour at our table, should there be any questions you'd like to address to me myself. But happy to take any here. Andrew? Uh, Andrew Adams, can you just remind us about uh, hotel booking openings? <coughs> uh, standard hotel bookings will be the... Stephen Cooper, Head of Facilities. Sorry, I thought that came out. <laughs> uh, 
Um, right, standard hotel bookings were open at 9th of January 2019. We are still working on the exact time. We're trying to figure out what the best time to open is to give the maximum access to the maximum number of part of the planet. Um, there will be an earlier opening on the no, no, no. 8th of December for people with access needs so they can get into the hotels they actually need to get into. Thank you. Any further questions for Ireland? Seeing none, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. That concludes the site selection portion of this uh, meeting. Do you want we to have presentations from 2021 bidders. Oh Five yes. Minutes. Are there any 2021 20 bidders who wish to present? 2021. <laughs> Well, uh, hello, I am uh, Colette Fazard. I'm the uh, co-bid chair of uh, DC in 2021. And uh, this is my co-bid chair, uh, Bill Lawhorn. Uh, we don't particularly have a presentation, but we wanted to make some basic information available and uh, be available for questions. Um, we are bidding to hold the uh, Worldcon in D Washington, D.C. in 2021 from August 25th to 29th, which is the weekend before Labor Day. The uh, the uh, location that we are uh, that we have secured a conditional contract with is the Marriott Wardman Park, which will uh, contain essentially all of our function space, um, a thousand hotel rooms, 100 suites, and we will be looking to have overflow at the Omni Shoreham across the street. Anything you want to add, Bill? Uh, Bill Lawhorn, co-chair. Very happy to meet you. Um, just to clarify, we are looking and we are scheduled to run Wednesday through Sunday. We have not made any determination as to the timing of the Hugo's, Hugo's or the masquerade should we win because that would be very presumptuous of us, but sometimes people ask. Thank you. And uh, does anybody have any questions they wish to ask? Uh, can somebody run her mic? Uh, Sue Francis, uh, my question is, are you going to have overflow days before and after the convention? Yes, uh, we have already secured in our contract uh, shoulder nights for, I believe, at least two and I believe three, you know, days pre and post uh, the, of the event. Bill Lawhorn, just adding, um, we have full run of the hotel starting on Wednesday night. We have half their block on the Tuesday night, which is before we start. And it, right now it's about 100 rooms that are scheduled for Monday. They're not willing to give us more at this time because they're, of course, hoping another convention will drop in in between so they can fill up, all, they have those rooms available. But the closer we get, the more likely they are going to be willing to add to our room block on those shoulder nights. And we have some really exciting things we're planning to do pre-convention for people who can come in town early. Thank you, any further questions? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you. As I'm reminded, are there any bidders for the 2020 NASFIC who wish to present? Aha. <laughs> I'm Kim Williams. I am not the chair. She had to go home so she could be at work bright and early at 7.30 tomorrow morning. <laughs> we um, have opened this weekend. We offer all congratulations to New Zealand. We are so thrilled for them. And we have taken the opportunity to open a 2020 NASFIC bid. Um, it is for late in August, August 8th, no, August 20th through 23rd. and. We are having the Hyatt Regency Columbus, Ohio as our facility. Um, we have had lots of fan events in that particular location. We've had 29 years of Marcon. We've had a couple of world fantasies. So we've sort of already broken in the hotel staff or broken the hotel staff. Um, and we also have a table out in the uh, fan table area, bid table area, and we will be happy to answer questions out there and are looking forward to being in Utah next summer for um, a site selection. Thank you very much. Any questions? Yes. Um, 
Hello, Kim. Judith Bemis. Um, who is the chair who had to go home early? Lisa Garrison is the chair. I, I really told her that was a good idea. Any other questions? Bid chair or chair? <laughs> bid chair or chair? She is both bid chair and convention chair. No? Should we win? Any other questions? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Sort of speaking for 2019's NASFIC, just a reminder to everyone that because of the way the WSFIS Constitution works, the 2020 NASFIC site selection feedback uh, will be held at the 2019 NASFIC in Utah. You must be a member of the 2019 NASFIC and only the 2019 NASFIC in order to vote in this election. Members of the 2019 Worldcon are not eligible to vote on the 2019, I mean the 2020 NASFIC election. I think I got that right. Yes, Thank you. did. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Jay Spitzer, uh, just to clarify that last point, do you need to be a full member of the 2019 NASFIC? No, or? you need to be a supporting member. Thank you. To vote. Right. But Thanks so much. A supporting member of Westercon. You can still be a full attending or supporting member of New Zealand and support them fully, but in order to vote for NASFIC, you need to be a supporting member of the 2019 NASFIC. Not Westercon. Not Westercon. I'm sorry. Yeah, not Western. Yeah, I, I said NASFIC. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Actually, that was going to be my follow-up question: Is can you can you be a supporting member of all three by buying one supporting membership or and or attending in the same conditions? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Ben Yallo, uh, just for people's information, since these questions have come up, I will be the site selection administrator for the dual elections of the Westercon two years from that, two years from then, and the NASFIC for 2020. And all of the information about filing deadlines and everything like that will be on the web page. There will be separate addresses, but they all flow through to me anyhow. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any bids for World Cons or NASFIX beyond 2021 who wish to say something briefly? Dave? Hello, I am Dave McCarty. I'm co-chairman of the bid for Chicago in 2022. Uh, just announcing that we have launched this weekend. We are talking with downtown hotels. We have really exciting offers, but I don't have firm dates yet. Although being Chicago, I can promise you guys it's almost certainly going to be the Labor Day holiday weekend. And I am celebrating a giant financial windfall since we uh, decided that everybody that attended this meeting was on our bid committee. And <laughs> you, you owe us $350 if you pay this weekend or $400 if you don't pay us this weekend. And boy, we are going to be well funded. <laughs> are there any questions? No, 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 no. Dave, will you be planning on doing pass along funds? Uh, we have participated in pass along funds every time before. We're still putting together the group of people who will officially decide. However, I will beat up anybody that tries to say we're not doing pass along funds. Any other questions? All right, I'll stop taking your time and I will look forward to getting all of your money. <laughs> Thank you. Any more bidders for the future conventions? Seeing none, we'll close the site selection portion of the meeting. We do have two items of regular business to deal with this morning. Um, we are bound not to take up the Professional Fan Artist Hugo Awards oh. motion until 11 o'clock, but we do have a short 
um, motion that came in from uh, Ben Yallo and Chris Hensley yesterday. You. So we may as well take that up this yes, time. For ah, back. If you want a time out, we will recess therefore till 11 o'clock. At which point we'll take up item D5.